Is this thing on? <laughs> hey guys. <laughs> What's up gamers? You got enough gamer juice today? Um, oh, there's like no air. Hey everyone. <laughs> Hey everyone. Hey guys. <laughs> My name is Liz. <laughs> and I'm Laurel. And we have decided that we're gonna make a YouTube channel. Aw man. <laughs> so here, we actually decided um, on an idea that Laurel made and um, she's gonna describe it to you guys. Oh, I am. Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, this idea is kind of hard to explain, but basically we thought about maybe um, getting some cool like facts or topics and kind of answering um, questions about them and like showing you guys the answer and like our input on it um, and you know, getting it from reliable sources and all that stuff. Google, and, not Wikipedia. Yeah, so we'll try to make it um, as fun as possible, um, but there's also some education in there and- And we're learning things too. Yes, that matters to me because I want to be a teacher. Yeah, so. she's gonna be a teacher, I'm not. I'm actually an art major, but uh, Still, it's good to learn things every day. <laughs> yep. So, yeah, basically, this is going to be a kid-friendly channel. So if you're into, like, oh, yeah, we're going to swear every single five seconds, that's not the channel that this is going to be. Um, there might be a couple times, because we might do some vlog videos. Um, and those videos, we might, like, accidentally swear a couple times. But um, because I'm going to be a graphic artist, I kind of need to learn how to, you know, use video editing apps. So I'm actually teaching myself how to do that. So I can definitely edit out swears, and I definitely will in every scenario. Um, and I will watch every video over and over again to make sure that all of our viewers are watching something that's kid friendly because believe us Yes, we really wish we could swear but we'd also like to keep our future career So we're not gonna do that and we also want it to make it so that everyone else can watch so yeah. So <laughs> tune into our next video to see what we come up with All right, so now that we're done with our basic introduction We're actually going to do a short Q&A about ourselves so you can get a little bit of information on who we are and the types of things that we're interested in and just a little bit of an insight on our personalities too. So I hope you enjoy. So what are our majors? So I am um, majoring in graphic design. Um, I actually just started college so I don't really have like any official classes for my major yet. They're mainly just common core classes. So it's not like I'm undecided. I know exactly what I want to do, um, where I want to be. Obviously, most of my classes are art because I have to do a lot of art, which I'm really open to because I'm really interested in all types of art. Basically, most of what I'm interested in learning more on is just graphic arts. I mean, I love learning more about 2D art, but I've always been into 3D art, so we're going to keep that going. And uh, I want to be an education major. Um, I'm pretty much into most of the ed classes. I'm taking a couple right now. Um, they're really fun, and I encourage anyone who wants to be teachers who go into the teaching profession. It's really fun. Um, I've taught kids before in religious ed, even though I don't really want to do uh, religion um, teaching, I'd love to be an elementary school teacher someday. So the question we are prompted with is, do you play any video games? <laughs> um, recently, no, but games that I like in the past are uh, The Sims, played a little bit of Minecraft. <laughs> oh <this>. yeah. <laughs> Um, played uh, Animal Crossing and Harvest Moon and a lot of uh, Wii and GameCube games. DS, man. Um, I love Switch. <laughs> yeah. I actually uh, brought my PlayStation with me to college, yet I don't think I've played a video game on it once. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. For most of the time that I've had access to anything that allows me to play a video game, since I was in like fourth grade, I had a DSi. And from like fourth grade to sixth grade, all I did was play Mario Kart and Super Mario 64. So I've always been a Nintendo person and it's it's still within my heart. Like my boyfriend and my brother have a Nintendo Switch and it's like the best thing that ever happened to me. But um, yeah, so I had um, a DSi and I played mostly Nintendo and then I found Minecraft and uh, <laughs> still play it way too much to this day. And I'm not ashamed of that because Minecraft is back in business. Everyone likes Minecraft. It's cool, man. Aw, man. So I play Minecraft on, uh, I played Pocket Edition first, 
Um, then I started playing PlayStation Edition, and now I actually just recently started doing PC, which is super fun, actually. Fallout, um, and then Destiny, and I have a couple other games that I don't really play that, play that much, but, um, yeah, I'm, I'm a big Destiny, Fallout, and Minecraft fan, and I also have played Sims as well, um, so yeah. We're on the same basis, I just play a little teeny bit more, because my girlfriend's a gamer. <laughs> Are you in a relationship? Because everyone's gonna ask us this question if we actually get views. Well, yes, I am in a relationship, <laughs> as I so mentioned before. Um, I've been dating my boyfriend Colin for almost two years now, in about a month. Yes, I'm in a relationship too. It would probably be sad if we were both like, yeah, we're single. <laughs> I've been with him for about 10 months, so... Do you or have you ever played any sports? Um, I did play sports when I was younger. Uh, my mom had us play soccer and uh, some baseball, but uh, middle school, high school, even on... Well, I did that in elementary school, but no sports then. I was pretty big into sports, I guess you could say. Um, recently, I stopped playing sports, unfortunately, because I don't really have the time for it anymore. And I guess I'm not really that passionate about, like, enough, of, like, I'm not passionate enough about it to continue doing it, and especially in college, because that's when you know you're passionate about something is if you continue doing it into that, like, time period. Um, but I played soccer for one year. I did dance for one year. I played basketball for, like, six years. Um, and then after that, I, oh, I did also softball for a year, and then I did tennis, varsity tennis, all throughout high school, except for my senior year, because I did not have time for that, because I realized, hey, you've got to earn money for college, and the only way you can do that is with a job, so, yeah. bye, and that's what I mean by I just ran out of time for that kind of thing, and, um, yeah, I'm still really passionate about tennis, honestly, out of all of the sports I've played, it's my absolute favorite, um, and I still meet up with my friends to play it, but, um, I don't have time and I don't feel like having enough time, like, you know, giving up time for that, honestly. But yeah. Our next question is, do you have a skincare or makeup routine? Um, so I mean, if I'm, being, <laughs> if I'm being completely honest, um, when it comes to like skincare, um, I wash my face at night when I take a shower and that's about it. I mean, I don't really have like the worst skin ever, right? <laughs> Um, but I mean, I just basically do that. Um, I used to like get up early in the morning to wash my face, but I just do it at night now. Um, because I have like really dry skin, so I don't want to like peel my face up. That'd be kind of gross. Um, and I, over time, I've worn mascara every once in a while, but I don't really wear makeup because I don't like the way it feels on my face. Um, so yeah, I don't really have a skincare routine or a makeup <laughs> routine. <laughs> but Laurel here is a guru. She should do um, some makeup really. videos. <laughs> Well, um, growing up, uh, I never had acne, um, a member of my family did, so I kind of have like a family history of it, but my skin is pretty much clear. Um, I have some products right here, um, <laughs> that I use. Um, I use this Birds and Bees, um, be a, be a real beauty guru. I use Birds Bees, um, brightening moisturizing cream. Um, this can be used in the morning or at night, or you could even do both. Um, I don't like to wear concealer, so I have this NYX, um, it's called Tinted Skin Veil. So it's kind of, you can just rub it into your face, um, which is pretty cool, it's and it blends like in cream almost, with your tone. Yeah. yeah, I'm not really too... And then I have this, that. it's basically like a highlight, it's called Liquid Illuminator by also NYX, and I usually just put it like here and here. Um, and then I wear mascara, and then I also have another Burt's Bees, um, chapstick. But I, and I wear mascara too, I usually have like a natural look. And sometimes I put on um, eyeshadow. Now this was really long, lo probably longer than you expected, but that's what I use. <laughs> Thumbs up this video if you want Laurel to do a makeup routine video, because I think that would be epic. <laughs> so we have this very um, odd question <laughs> of, are you a nighttime showerer or a morning time showerer? <laughs> Didn't know there were um, called showerers, but... Um, <laughs> I shower at night, um, I don't want to be like that person, but I usually uh, take a shower and then I go to sleep. So my hair doesn't really air dry, I basically just keep it on the pillow. Because if I let it air dry, it just gets all poofy, kind of like how yeah. it is right now. But, um, yeah. yeah. I'm actually the exact same way, so um, my boyfriend takes morning showers and I find it like kind of weird because I mean, I've always taken nighttime showers, so I feel like when I take morning showers, it's nice, but then that kind of makes me want to go back to bed. Um, because of how hot the water is and that's what makes me fall asleep at night 
Um, so yeah, I've always taken nighttime showers only because first of all, I'm kind of a germaphobe. So knowing that I'm clean sleeping in my bed makes me feel a lot better about myself. And it also takes a lot of time out of my like morning routine that I don't even really have. Um, so that way, like if I have an 815, I can just get up at 730 and then I take like 20 minutes to get ready and then I'm gone. Like I don't need to worry about taking an extra half an hour in the shower because Honestly, it, you don't realize how little time you have in the morning until you wake up and you really don't have much time to do anything. I've always been a nighttime shower and it's because I'm honestly, probably it's because I'm a low-key germaphobe. Um, and also the hair thing that she mentioned is the same, except I have much curlier hair than she has. <laughs> and um, when my hair air dries, it is like, it looks like I basically just like had the wind blown directly in my face for three hours. So it's probably better if I always sleep on my hair anyway. I know it's not like really good for your hair to do that if you have curly hair, but I do it anyway. <laughs> Only because it does look a little bit better that way. All right, so our next question. What do you hope to be once you graduate college? Um, so I know I mentioned this earlier, like in one of the very first questions because I immediately jumped to the answer of all the other questions I made. <laughs> but um, once I graduate college, I hope to um, work for someone in graphic design so I'm not really one who's interested in having their own business only because I'm trying to avoid as much as possible taking <laughs> business classes because I'm good I would take a hard pass on that I don't want to take business classes I'm not interested in like being an entrepreneur or anything like that like it's not my thing at all I would rather work for someone else only because I feel like yes being an entrepreneur definitely or like owning your own business definitely gives you a lot more experience on certain things and a lot more knowledge but like I said, it's not my thing and I've always been used to working for someone else anyway. That's kind of how you're raised when you, you know, work for jobs when you're a teenager. So I'm just going to stick with doing that. I just want to do someone's graphic design work, maybe making logos, websites, things like that. Things that I'm really good at, so. <laughs> As explained in the other videos, obviously I want to become um, a teacher. Um, right now I'm elementary ed, so I would be teaching um, somewhere um, in my state, um, elementary school. Um, but I also... So hope to be, I hope to be a mentor um, for kids and I hope to um, participate in many of the um, activities that they have here um, at school um, because there is a lot of volunteer opportunities to help um, kids in my area. So I hope to do that and I hope to become a better person before I become a teacher too. Oh, oh, hey, it's your... Here's our last question. Last question. What types of things should you expect on this channel? Lots of random stuff. Yeah. And <laughs> things about our daily lives. Um, things we find interesting, cool, weird stories. Yeah, so I mean, honestly, we when we were trying to come up with ideas for this channel, we were like, okay, we could do this. And then, or I would say we could do this. And she would be like, well, that's not really that original. Why don't we do something unique to start off our channel? Um, so I, I mean, I completely agree with that. Like we need something new on YouTube, something new. We gotta be the beginners of a trend. Like, yeah. I mean, I could be wrong. Maybe there is a video out there like this already, but most of the ones that I was thinking of that like came off the top of my head were like Buzzfeed videos, which I don't think really count because Buzzfeed is just Buzzfeed. Like, I don't know. I don't really think that counts, but it's like when docs answer your most searched questions or something like that. Yeah. We're doing the opposite, where we're answering your most unsearched questions. Things that you're either too lazy to look up, too bored to look up, or you just don't feel like looking it up. And for those of you wondering, why the heck are we doing this? Well, think of it like this. You buy an Alexa, you buy a Google Home because you don't want to type it in. You don't want to look it up. Well, what happens when, when Alexa just goes, I don't know. Echo is a brand of smart speaker. So what do you do? when Alexa says she doesn't know the answer to it. Yeah, you, you <laughs> But what do you do? Like when they, they answer back, like your smart speaker answers back when they don't have the answer to it or like your Siri does that or whatever. They won't answer questions that we're not 100% knowing the answer for. Yeah. So we probably won't do like religion because... Yeah, certain t that's, and it's also like a risky subject. Um, we're mainly gonna try to avoid religion um, and we're gonna try our best to avoid politics. I feel like nowadays everything revolves around politics, so it's gonna be really hard to do that. I mean, on this channel, if you ever do see a political video, we're gonna we're gonna make it very clear, and not only the, the title but the thumbnail that it's gonna be a political video. Every thumbnail, every title will make it very clear what our video is about, um, and there will obviously be a very in-depth description about what it you know you're about to watch. 
So if you're not interested in it and you don't want to watch anything about politics or whatever the subject may be, most definitely don't click on it. I don't recommend it because, you know what I mean, you see a lot of hate in people's videos like, oh, this is the worst video I've ever watched. It's like, well, then why did you continue to watch the video enough to say that? You know what I mean? Just exit out of the yeah. video. Keep this a positive environment. Just keep it a positive community. We will try our best to be as not biased as possible. Yeah, and it's, I feel like that's really important too for the type of channel that this is. Um, I apologize ahead of time if at any point um, anything comes off as biased because that is the number one thing that we're trying not to do in these videos because of all things, you know what I mean? We're, that's why we're trying to avoid politics, we're trying to avoid religion because we don't want it to sound like our beliefs are what are showing. Um, and if at any point we want our beliefs to show, we will make it very clear what our beliefs are. Um, but like I said, if at any point that does seem, or anything we say seems biased, um, I apologize ahead of time because our, that's our number one goal is to make it not seem that way. So we're definitely going to try our absolute hardest to do so. Thanks for watching our first Thanks video. Thanks for watching, guys. Like and subscribe for more content. Future content is definitely going to be coming soon. Um, we do have an Instagram. It's Laurel Liz. So it's L-A-U-R-L-E. <laughs> I'll just put it on the screen <laughs> because I can't spell. So like and subscribe and leave a comment down below too to what you'd like to see for future videos. Um, and stay tuned, um, put on your post notifications because we definitely will be posting new content soon. And the newest content, the next video coming out will definitely be one of our, our main you know, YouTube topics, which is gonna be answering your questions online. So yep. stay tuned for that. Turn on post notifications, turn on subscribe button and like the video. Peace.